Welcome back to our fractal project. In our last video we learned how to draw our applet viewer and in this video we're going to learn how to draw our first base fractal which is a tree. Um, you can see an example here where we have a base that goes and then it's a right and then we go to the left and then we come back to top of our base and now this becomes the base in the second level because this is now our base and we go right and we come back and we go left one one unit and then we come back and then this becomes our base in our third level and then we go right and we go left and this can continue on forever so if we t take a look at the unit circle um, this is where we can get our algorithm from uh, we can start here and draw a base starting from negative 90 up to the top and that's one unit and then when we go right in order to get the X and Y out here um, we need to use the cosine which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse which is going to give us our X and to get the Y we're going to use sine which is y over 1 or opposite over our hypotenuse and that gives us our y and our initial xy is down here at this point so this is how we get an, our initial xy and our second xy and in the second iteration this becomes the base again and then again we go left and right I'm sorry right and then left and come back to the center so when we look at the finished algorithm here this might be a little hard to see so I'll blow it up we're going to create a method um, draw tree we're gonna pass in some parameters here and this is just our graphics data but we need to know what x1 is and y1 initially and then we're going to be able to change the angle and of course our depth whether we're at a depth of one two or three and of course when we get down to 1 or 0, we're, we're at our base case. We can't go any lower. So in a recursive algorithm, we need to have a way to stop. And so this is our base of 0. All right, so again, in a recursive algorithm, we need to have a base where we're going to stop so that we don't go on forever. Now here, um, we're getting the x1 from our previous depth and our y1 from the previous step. So what we're really interested in finding out for each iteration is x2 and y2, which of course you saw over here, it's this point out at the end, whether we go left or whether we go right in our tree. And so in order to find x2, we want to, and to use the angle, we need to use math.radians, which is part of the math library and then we're going to pass that into our math.cosine function and we're going to um, round it to an integer and then we can add the depth and also the actual distance of our uh, in pixels of our base leg here in our unit circle of course this is one unit each of these legs but when we're drawing in Java we need to add some number of pixels to our um, leg. And then again here in w to get y2 we're going to take the previous y we're going to pass in the angle and use math to radians but we're going to use the sine language, sine function here, cast it as an integer multiply it by our depth and also the length of our, our base. And then we'll use the draw line method in the 2D graphics Java 2D graphics library to draw our line Alright, so that's it for our algorithm, and in the next video we'll actually get started and program this function.